In this video, I'll show you how to install your Western Digital Element hard drive on your Mac computer. This way you'll be able to transfer files and also do backup on this external hard drive. So let's get started. So the first step is to connect physically the hard drive to your Mac. The hard drive comes with this cable included inside of the box. This cable has one end that looks like this one that we're gonna plug in the hard drive itself, like this. And on the other end of the cable, we have a USB plug that looks like this one. Most Macs, the most recent ones, don't have this port anymore. This is a MacBook Air M2, and even the M1 didn't have any USB type A ports. It only has USB type C. To make this work, you'll need an adapter. Apple sells one and from my own experience, it's the one that works every time. So I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one of these, because then you only have to plug the hard drive cable right there. And the other end, it has a USB type C that plugs directly into the laptop. like this. Once you connect it both together, you're gonna hear your hard drive start to spin and you also notice that there's a light over here that it's starting to glow. Set the hard drive aside and on the Mac, what you need to do is to go over here where you see the small magnifying glass, click on it and then type disk utility you see only by typing disk i can already see it and just click on this option disk utility this will load and on the left side you will have all connected external hard drives on the top one it's the internal the one that is inside of your mac you don't want to touch this but where it says external you're going to see wd elements and that's your hard drive you just connected. Now, next step is you're gonna go over here on the top side and you're gonna click on Erase. This is a brand new disk. I'm setting up a, a new disk that doesn't have anything on it, but if you had things stored on this hard drive previously, by doing this step, it will erase completely. So make sure you have a backup of the data that is on your hard drive if it's not the first time you're using it. So you're going to click on the erase button and here we'll have a few things to set up. So the name, you can decide any name. I can decide to be called, I don't know, my backup drive. Okay. Then format. This is very important. You're going to click and depending what you intend to use this drive for, for example, if you're only going to use this external drive on Macs, and never on PCs, then I suggest you choose Mac OS Extended Journaled. This will work the best with Mac computers. If you intend to use this drive on Mac and Windows machines, so PCs, well then you need to select XFAT because this format will mean that both of the computers will be able to recognize this drive and work with it. So this is a personal choice that you'll have to make. In my case, I'll choose XFAT and here you don't have to touch anything. You can leave it to the first option that was already selected. Finally, when you're ready, press the erase button. It will take a few seconds, sometimes even a minute. Let it do its thing. Don't touch anything. And at the end, you should have this message with the green check mark saying that your drive has been successfully formatted. You can press done and you're good to go. To use the drive, you just have to open Finder and navigate to over here, Mac Backup, or depending what's the name you give to your drive. I gave this name, maybe yours is different. It's usually under Macintosh HD, right over here. You click on it and this is your hard drive. You can drop things, you can copy, you can do all the good stuff. So this is it. I hope this video was useful. This is how you 
install connect your HD element hard drive to your Mac computer. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment and I'll see you in the next one.